Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to Marriage and the Single Lady Workshop Series number seven. This is class number four. I have a very special guest here with me today. I'm so excited because this I'm going to talk about healthier eating, and Sister Andrea is going to tell us a little bit about herself, and then yes. we're going to go into a word of prayer, and then we're going to jump right into our topic. Okay, so sounds tell, good. Tell us about yourself. Well, um, most important is I am a child of God, and that means a working progress. So I'm so grateful that the experiences that I've had that I would not have been thankful for, I'm thankful for because they lead us to our needs, and needs lead us to knowledge, and knowledge lead us to understanding. Right. And then we put that to application, and there we say the glory of God. So yes, that's yes. what's important to know about me is that I'm a child of God, and I have five children, which tells a whole other story. One son, and just a whole lot of experience with just growing up with them. Yeah. Okay. You know? yeah. So, so you know a lot about healthy eating. So we're going to um, go into, well, before we get into that, we're going to open up with a word of prayer. Would okay. you please be, do the honors and open us up, please? Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the knowledge, wisdom, and most of all, understanding. Yes, Lord, we Jesus. thank you for the application of your word. Yes, we thank God. you for the glory of your word. We yes, thank you God. for the peace of your word. We thank you for unmarried faith. We thank you for the righteousness yes, you have given Jesus. us and that we are found under the blood of God, which means we are beautiful and wonderful and clean in the apple of your eye yes, and God. all that you require of us to take your knowledge learn of you and you say your yoke is easy and your burdens are it's just wonderful to have yes, the privilege God. to walk into your presence and into your principles and into your way just knowing that you love us with all our flaws and faults and you did your you sent your son so that we could walk in this walk with you in love and to show others your grace and mercy in jesus name amen in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. 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 so the floor is yours so this, what i really wanted to talk to you about the experience I had um, two years ago. There was a hurricane in Florida. Right. Well, there were hurricanes everywhere, <laughs> but the mass destruction that it did in Florida or California, where I'm from, affected my parents. And um, my mother fell and she had um, been diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's and all of that. And subsequently, she was in a home when that uh, hurricane had um, hit Ocala and she had coded out and they took her to the hospital. Oh, oh. She coded out right in front of my mom, right in front of my brother and my dad. And I didn't want her to be in one of those type of homes in the first place. Right. But you see, um, God is so perfect in his timing. Yes. yes. Because my mother had come to a point where my father is seeing impaired and he couldn't really take care of her. Mm -hmm. um, so he felt helpless as a man and you know how men are. Mm -hmm. But um, I have been talking and researching about health and healing, and I know that God put everything on this planet that we need. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> God put everything on the planet that we need, yes, and he so. told us how to farm the land, what to eat and what not to eat. Now, we're not under the Jewish law. We're under right. a new command right. now. Right. And right. God says everything is permissible, but everything is not good for you. Right. So he expects you to do wisdom at the same time, but that takes application. And that takes studying, which somehow I read the other day that um, the average American doesn't read a book mm -hmm. in a year. Yep. And so yep. we don't really want to read. We want to be very relaxed and very uh, nonchalant about our lives, about our careers, right, about our education. Right, right. Everything is right handed to you on your phone. So you can ask Siri. Uh, you can ask <laughs> anybody on your phone. And I do it, too. Right. I remember when we had um, phone numbers that we used to memorize. Yes. How many you know? numbers do you know by heart? Exactly. And those are the things that we're not doing because we get lazy. And we look at these television shows that show us big and fat and fluffy and all the computers doing the work for us. Yeah. Well, actually, that is an analogy of what we're becoming. And although we are preoccupied with our bodies and we don't want to work for that either, that's surgery. <laughs> um, right. What we're doing is destroying ourselves. And so what happened with my mother was... Um, I had been doing the research, and so I took a year off mm -hmm. to stay with my mom. Right. And um, let's go back. What made you take the year off? What made you go to Ocala to do to take the year off? And what led a you conviction from God because I knew that my mother didn't have to be in that facility, not knowing anyone. My mother had stopped talking. Her fist was tight. Her body was tight. Um, she couldn't go to the bathroom. She didn't talk. She we her language was distorted and, and backwards. Um, she didn't know who we were. And um, I had gone there to visit her before the storm and it just wrenched at my heart because I had started studying earlier, but I didn't apply it or my father wouldn't let me apply because he trusted the doctors. He trusted these people and that people. And he, he believed them more so than you know a layman's person and reading. Um, and it gets like that when people get older sometimes they just get to these doctors and trust that that doctor is doing the best for them but we forget who the primary doctor Come was on now. and we forget Come what Jesus now. came to pay the price for mm -hmm. and that we no longer are slaves under sin, condemnation and 
illness. Yes. We are not. Yes. And he did not want us. And why why would the saved people go out the same way the unsaved people go? That's right. You know, we, we should have an example. Now, example yes. is our testimony. God said we will win them by our testimony. Right. Testimony is not just the words coming out of your mouth. It's how you live. Come on now. And what you use. Mm-hmm. Your, you know, let me tell you something. It's not these nutrients that I'm going to talk to you about that saved my mom. Just like it wasn't walking around the Jericho wall that made the wall come down. But it was uh, obedience. Yeah. You know, yes. it was that. Yes. And it was doing what God says to do to apply to this creation that he made, which is right. this body that he hewed out of the earth. Right. And the first thing I'm going to say, when he hewed us out of the earth, every nutrient, every mineral, everything that was in the earth is in our bodies. Mm-hmm. There's a delicate balance to that. If you are liking calcium, calcium can cause over 300 different diseases in your body if you are liking calcium in your body. So that goes to show you how important a balance of having just calcium in your body. So if you're missing copper, zinc, magnesium, and all these other things, selenium, all those things, each one of those things, if they're not in perfect balance, is going to cause an effect in your body. Wow. And this is why God had the way, the way he said to plant the food so those nutrients will come up into the food right. and then give the ground some rest so the ground can replenish itself. Right. Well, we're not doing it now. With steroids, we're doing everything else. So one tomato equals up to 10 tomatoes when my mom's time. Gotcha. So you gotcha. can eat 10 tomatoes to get the effects of one tomato right. now. So you think you're eating healthy with it. And so you need the you need the nutrients and things that I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to tell you the, the story of my mother before yes. I tell you about how God yes. showed me what to do. So when I got there after the hurricane, and I just, the Holy Spirit convicted me. Okay. And I went there and, you know, people don't believe, you know, they there's a difference, you right. know. The doctors don't believe because they're in bed with the pharmaceutical companies. The right. pharmaceutical comes in bed with the federal uh, drug ministries. I'm not going <laughs> right. to that's, that's right. the truth, you know. Right. Right. And so if you look at your Bible, it tells us that um, the food and regulations are going to be in the last times in Revelation that government will be in control of that. Mm-hmm. So if it's going to be in control of that, you have to understand the importance of food, period. Mm-hmm. Food is important. We have every fast food chain around here. I say you might as well put some demons on top of them because (laughs) that food is not healthy for you. We are so quick, like I said at the beginning, to do things for convenience and not for health. And we have to slow down. Multitasking is not a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. It is not (laughs) a good thing. And we do it all the time. We give ourselves kudos on the back for that. I read a book by Christine King. You Mm -hmm. probably know her. They talk about your mind and your thoughts. And we're not supposed to do that because Mm -hmm. God, if you look at the biblical text of how God treated the people, they did one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did a good job at it. Mm-hmm. We have to do a whole lot of stuff and feel good about it. And most people are doing the same thing. So what looks good really isn't good, but we think it's good because it's the best thing somebody else did <laughs> right. in that short right. amount of time. Right. So my mother wasn't talking. So when I got there and she coded out, of course, everybody calls. And so I fly to o- Ocala. Okay. And I had just looked at TBN on a book called The End of Alzheimer's. Now, I had already been reading it. And I gave a, a I'm going to show you the information. I think I sent it to you, yes. The End of mm-hmm. Alzheimer's. I sent you that book. And I'm going to tell you all, if you do get the book, the book, the reading is difficult. Now, I'm going to tell you that straight off. The reading is difficult for that book. Oh, However, God. what I did and what I do now is I just simply go and sit down and talk to people about what's the best way to just skip all of that and get your nutrient-rich way to eat without having to read all that information. The first thing I had to do was get my mom off all those medications because statin drugs, high blood pressure drugs, all of those things uh, d- depreciate the malum in your brain. Now, your brain is made up of a soft tissue. Mm-hmm. And the only thing that feeds that is the thing that they tell us now, they're back to saying it's good for you, which is eggs. Oh, yeah. There was a time they said, don't eat. See, Alzheimer's dementia is a man-made disease. Oh. It is. There used to not be any talk about dementia and people losing their minds unless they fell and hit their head right and they had some type of trauma brain uh, uh, uh some trauma to their brain okay but other than that you didn't hear about a lot of people you know you had that crazy uncle in the room but he didn't have <laughs> Alzheimer's dementia he just you know he was bipolar right that was that but we didn't have Alzheimer's dementia and what happened was when we started talking about not eating eggs and eggs is the only thing that yellow part in the egg is the yellow, only thing that directly right goes to your brain to fill it up and to replenish it but you can think when you stop eating eggs and you stop doing a lot of things they told us not to eat that crisco oil was not the same thing as lard lard yeah there's that's a whole lot there's yeah, a whole other subject yeah. on that but all yeah. these things did a, a, a number on our bodies with clogging our arteries lessening our brain capacity not to mention the fact that we use computers and things like that that don't give us a chance we don't even go to the library where's a card catalog right. people don't right. know how to research anything anymore they just go on their phone and ask for it right. but when you depreciate any, any muscle that's not used is going to work right 
it's going to work. Gonna, it's it's going to it, atrophy. It's, it's just gonna, not going to um, exactly. And it. that's what your brain is. Well, the main thing is the statin drugs deplete your mind, right. and then not feeding and eating the right foods deplete your mind. Right. Um, I had to start my mother uh, first. I had to clean her. What they call it, clean your gut, clean your okay. digestion. That is not cayenne pepper, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, uh, gentlemen, that is not cayenne pepper, uh, lemon juice, um, yeah. and uh, the little uh, honey. Honey. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about getting your body because a lot of people have a problem with having bowel movements, mm -hmm. and again, that has to do with what you eat. Right. And so I had to clean her gut and that means make her gut back to the way it should be with the right type of things in it so it can function properly that has a lot to do with your brain also also bad teeth Ooh. have a lot to do with you losing your memory bad also teeth? bad teeth and the feeling that they used to put in your teeth yeah um you want to get the white enamel the uh um the copper yeah, and yeah. the um what metal that they put right. into your mouth right. also to repeat your brain it See, and then the um the the what is it called? The first one you said, the plastic. Uh -huh. That one is more expensive. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. Well, you know, <laughs> but there are programs that you can get on that we're not abreast of that you can sign for and get those things. That's how other people. I'm not saying right. get into those programs <laughs> okay. so that they don't have the copper in their mouth that's going to deplete your brain. But anyway, okay. Um, so I got her in her and I did the probiotics now. We, again, lazy. You want right. to go get a pill for probiotics. But let me tell you how good God is. Oh, wow. We have had probiotics on the earth from the beginning of the time. Right. And one of the major foods that they use, even back in the day, to get rid of um, a whole lot of diseases, cabbage, pickled cabbage. They used to come on the Mayflower with a pickled cabbage or pickled whatever. Yeah. That's all probiotics. Pickled beets. Pickles that we used to eat, you know, well, we didn't have bad stomachs back then. Yes, we had pickles black people all the ran time. Around yeah. with pickles, pickles, we sure did. Pickle pig in the plastic. Pickle eggs, we just pickle up everything. <laughs> but um, not yeah. for us. <laughs> they nothing. preserved that egg yes. so that you get hungry. <laughs> and a lot of people back in the day would pickle those eggs so that when the husband would go to work, an uh, 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 egg without being pickled would, would, would spoil. Oh. But they pickled their food so that it would last through the day because you didn't have refrigerators. So yeah, they would pickle the cabbage, yeah. they would pickle the egg, yeah. and then you have the meat. And which the bread, they made it into what you call at Christmas time that nobody wants to eat. <laughs> <laughs> with those um, with um the fruit and fruit cake, the fruit, fruit cake. But fruit they had cake. all kinds of nut cake. It, we we did the yeah. fruit cake. They always had a, a cake, but it was made with different things in it that would make you healthy. And see, we do it. We did these all along. Uh -huh. And so, what I did was clean her system. So I'm going to tell you all about how to clean your system the next time we talk, because I want you to know that you don't have to do a lot. If you just put a little bit of cabbage, I pickle beets, right. um, kimchi, the whole lot of things that you can add to your salad. And I'm going to tell you how to make the most wonderful salads to have each day. Mm -hmm. Um, it, but I want to give you one clue that if you like seafood, which we know is not the best thing to eat, mm -hmm. eat kale before you uh, consume it and it will make those uh, things digest correctly in your system. Okay. Kale is just a miracle working. Uh, kale, anything else or is it just specifically kale? Specifically kale. kale. And I'm going to give you the books of things to read okay. for that. But that was the first process is cleaning her stomach out. So I made sure that she cleaned her uh, stomach out. And that was not diuretics again. <laughs> people. That's not diuretics. That's simply putting the right foods in her stomach, which were root plants. Right. So that was your turnips, your rutabagas, your... Um, Mm. Beets, right. anything that had a root on the bottom of right. it that came out of the ground, that's what she ate. And How I, did you get it to get her to eat it? You just needed it. Well, I bought a spiralizer. <laughs> I bought a spiralizer. This thing is a miracle. I mean, it costs enough to get one, <laughs> but you could take your roots and you could spiral. It looks like spaghetti. It looks like spaghetti. You can change it into different forms. Yeah. And I would spiralize the um, uh, turnips yeah. and I would not cook them. I would put heat up the water, season the water, drop them in there and yeah. turn the heat off and let them soak down. It looked just like spaghetti. And I would put marinara sauce on it. And yeah. she would, it would taste like spaghetti. I mean, you know, it was really good. Wow. And so I did that. And it was a whole lot of little things that I did to make things um, pleasing Thank to the you. eye. Because right. we look, we eat by look. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, that's, and that's most things. But there are a lot of things that don't look good that are good for you. Right. But I did that and I got all those root vegetables. And then because turnips, you can cut them up and season them. And you got your rutabagas, you got your beets, and I would put those in the machine. Right. And I just kept those going through her body along with wild game. Wild game. And nothing I mean, other than that. I mean, yeah. the, the Joseph and um Yeah. Yeah, you see the sun out there. Yeah. Yeah, see, because let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, anything out of the store. Is unhealthy for you because they have to preserve those meats. Yeah. So they last a long time. And when they do that, they're pouring dead blood back on the meat so it can have that nice red look. And and it's just 
not healthy. Not to mention they got the antibiotics in them. They also have the steroids in them. All these things our bodies cannot break down and utilize and use because they are foreign to our bodies. And we all know from basic education in school, right. anytime you get something pricked into your body, your white blood cells come to attack that. And this is why we have so many autoimmune um, problems where our bodies are attacking our, uh, our own cells because we have so much in our body that is not is foreign. foreign. And so our bodies oh. are attacking. So you hear people with the lumps in their bodies yes. and uh, uh, like pomas and all these things. These are overgrowths because our body's trying to protect us from things we we're putting in our body. God uh, didn't make up a flawed system. We just eat flawed foods. Right. And so our body's working to help us maintain the you know the tox the toxicity they try is trying to eradicate it from our body and we have all these problems. Even cataracts and glaucoma. All all these things have to do with foreign substances coming in the body and the body not knowing how to deal with it. Any growth, <sighs> any tumor, all of any cancer. All this has to do with cancer is just an overgrowth of your body trying to protect itself going out of control. That's what wow. it is. So we have to know what our body can and cannot use. And when it becomes so superficial and so flawed and so fake and so phony and so um, steroid that our bodies just don't know what to do with it because it's not food anymore. Mm. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, meat is not a necessity mm. with every meal that you eat. <laughs> Vegetables are, you know. Right. And I know it's hard because mm -hmm. we don't really want to change because... Yeah. Meat tastes good. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're, in a, we're, in a, we're in a world now where everything is pleasing to the eyes, you know? Yeah. Everything's got to be, oh, you know? We would have turned food into an idolatry worship like a god. Right. Instead of using it what it's meant for to keep us healthy to go out and do the things we need to do. Right. But now we got these restaurants and Chef This makes a right. million dollars a dish and he's <laughs> right. throwing more butter and this and all. And I'm not saying butter's bad. Right. But what I'm saying is our perception of the world has changed and, and, and become so warped that we're killing ourselves. Okay. And then we want to blame somebody else. But right. Really is the lack of knowledge and, and, and the main thing just being lazy. Yeah. You know. So how and, do we get back? What is the cure? Like, um it, it takes uh, you know, the road to recovery starts with one step. The quickest way to get tired with any diet or anything is when you become overwhelmed with trying to change. You just add one thing different. Yeah. along the way and eventually two things different and three things and take something away add something to it take something away add some, don't make anything difficult that you can't do and you can't handle because you're setting yourself up for failure right. even god waited 400 years before he said no way you waited 4,000 years before he sent jesus i mean he could have brought jesus right away yeah. but he didn't he said in the fullness of what Time. time and that's time. something that we don't know how to appreciate is the fullness of time we want everything right away right then right there just like going on a diet we want to lose 30 pounds <laughs> in the first week exactly <laughs> it just doesn't work that way the first thing i would tell you the first thing my mother had to do was get off of all sweets okay all sugar all sugar all sugary drinks now i'm not talking about fruits and vegetables although they have a lot of sugar in them right but there should never be another soda that passed your lips they use soda to 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 um uh, get car batteries, yeah, the clean car that. batteries. So why would you put that in your body? But you know, we like to taste the soda, <laughs> I know. We like our Coke and our diet Coke Pepsi. is the worst one. Coke is the leading mm -hmm. cause of um, colon cancer in men. Any Ooh, dark wow. sort of Coke and Pepsi, if you're a man, man, you don't need to be drinking that at all. Um, and you know, you know, you got a lemon tree in the back of your yard, mm -hmm. go get some lemons and make lemonade like they used to. Right. Tea is still good for you. Right. you know? But these sodas and anything that comes across the counter that you can buy at a store, they have to make sure that when they put that in the warehouse and it stays there for a year, it's still viable for you to drink the next time you get it. So you're drinking stuff that's toxic and they put it in these plastic bottles that we now know they're toxic. Once they get into the sunlight, you can't drink because the water. So, you know, what I'm saying is convenience is not convenient. Right. It's conveniently killing us. Right. So, you know, you get your glass bottles, you know, those mason cup jars we used to have at mm -hmm. the top of the yeah. 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 You know, those things yeah. really work. But what I'm saying to you, you have to learn. And how do you learn? You learn by doing what you're doing right now, sitting down, listening to people talk right. who've had the experience. I will tell you this. My mother's back home. She's going back to the restroom. Yeah. She's also telling me, I want to go to California. <laughs> she's back talking. She's back. So she's able to be kept at home without being in the facility. This is what the change in her diet has done for her. So if that can, and they tell you that Alzheimer's is irreversible, it's a lie. They tell you that Alzheimer's is, is genetic, that's a lie. If you can take two different pills that make that reverse that tells you that it's not destiny it has to do with that. but listen they tell us that because they want the pharmacy yeah think of the billions of dollars they're using on the cure for alzheimer's when it's yeah. right in your diet 
Come on now. You don't and, get a lot and, of and they know it, right? And they know it. And they don't want to they don't want to lose that money. The pharmaceutical companies are on your television right now showing a commercial with beautiful flowers and butterflies floating <laughs> around in the sky, right. talking about if you take this drug, right. it's gonna cure this. But when you don't hear the butterflies and, and they start leaping through the wheat fields, that's when they're telling you about the side effects, but you don't listen to that because you see this beautiful person right. leaping through the wheat fields and, <laughs> and, down, and down the low boy saying, make us uh, um this <laughs> death, and that, death, your you. heart, you know, and all kinds of things is telling you it's going to happen to you if you take that. So now I'm taking a drug that's going to cure my eyesight so I can see, but my bladder and kidney is going to die in a week. Mm. So what's the trade-off? You can leave, you can you, you can live without your eyesight, but you can't live without your bladder and your kidneys, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what I want to talk to you about. So I'm going to have a shorter period of time when I come back, mm -hmm. and I'm going to specifically tell you one or two things to do. If you don't, if the first thing I want to say to you, if you have any problem with your memory or have anybody in your family that's suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's, the first thing you want to do is buy some Selena. They made eggs a a villain so long it's not you need that you need and those of us who don't have dementia or alzheimer put the eggs back in and the raw they are the better the better they go right to the brain that's why you say have uh, our parents just have egg over easy yeah, and yeah they were living yeah. long long <laughs> long long lives and we stopped so that's that's what i that's the first thing i started with her after i cleaned her gut out and she'll be having those eggs the rest of her life okay. because i have to keep her brain because she had a you know she was at a the far end of the spectrum. Right. Uh, but yeah, that's a part of that. But there's so much I need to tell you about your energy and your health and the things that are important for you. And when I talked about those 90 nutrients and what comes out of the ground that we have, there's a, 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 a plan called 90 for Life. Okay. Joel Wallach, you might want to uh, Google him. Okay. He has won so many awards. He has been sued by pharmaceutical companies. He has won every last one of them. <laughs> he has been in the market for a long time. A whole lot of people coming up and trying to be in the market, but he's the one with the longevity and has been there. He has cases where, like, if you have knee replacements, we know knee, knee replacements do not work. <laughs> he has grown cartilages back in people's knees from people that are famous what? that you know about. Yes, asthma. Another thing you want to start to, you, you want to get off of the, um, uh, not the gluten, gluten. Oh, okay. Gluten-free diet is, is important. My mother's not on gluten either. Um, and people of color have seen to have a higher intolerance for gluten. Um, okay. We have the um, skin lesions and mm -hmm. the uh, eczema. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that comes from allergic, uh, allergic reaction to gluten. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So when you have your, you break it, it's gluten. So uh, my mother doesn't take, I, I, I eat very little gluten. Um, but once you learn to shop and get everything in your house at one time instead of shopping when you're in a hurry. <clears throat> right. Um, start to do meal planning. Yeah. Um, and that's that's important because we live in a fast paced world and we don't have the time that our parents used to have. Right. So you take out that time to write your list down, find the stores you want to go to. And I'll tell you a lot of things that are happening that are good online shopping. Mm. If you go to Amazon, I buy almost all of my um, ginger, almost all my cinnamon, all offline. It was cheaper offline and had it delivered right to the door, door, right to the door. And I add those to, to my food. Uh, I swagger. It's all kinds of uh, herbs and stuff that I didn't know about that I, I now use by copa all kinds of things that I want to talk to you about right. but the severity of my mom's case for Alzheimer's and dementia and I look at so many people leaving out of the church and it's all about diet it's yeah. all about diet and I wish I could you know just do what I did for my mom to yes. those people yeah. but I, I can't but what I can do is break it down not into uh, anything but here's what you do right and here's what you put in your drinks. And here's, I don't want to go through the logistics of this, does this to your body, this, does that. Because I read some of the books, I almost lost my mind at first. <laughs> okay. I did, I had charts all over the house. <laughs> No, seriously, I had Char charts, <laughs> charts over the house, charts over the house, charts over, you yeah. know, because I had to figure it out. Right. I had to figure it out. And once I figured it out, and once it made sense to me, I was able to apply it without the stress. Gotcha. But somebody else may not have that problem. You can figure that out really quickly. But <laughs> I had to look at all those vitamins and look at what they were doing, how they interact with each other. Right. Vitamin C is another important important oh. but you got to get the right vitamin c right okay so how do you get the right one online right. and you get right to the organic vitamin c so everything organic um it doesn't have to be organic but i prefer organic because they can be lying to you about that too mm -hmm. but you know there is a accountability mm -hmm. that occurs with organic that doesn't occur yeah. with other products yeah you're right i know okay. that from my and yep. so there is mm -hmm. a level of percentage 
that they have to be mm -hmm. uh, when it's organic, when they right. don't have to be when it's across the that's counter. That's the truth. So that's the difference with that. So when I say high yield vitamin E, you can get vitamin E at the store, but it's going to be low yield. Right. But you get your vitamin C E offline at an organic place, but they're going to tell you the amount of nutrients in it. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's going to be a more pure product with less fillers in it. Gotcha. So you want to, especially if you're taking care of someone who's already suffering, you don't want to give them something that's not going to be high yield. Give them right. the best they, they can. And it will work miracles just in the first week. And then I can talk about how you change your diet. And I'm one of those people that don't change the whole diet. Like don't eat meat. Not, you know. <laughs> Listen, my mother did not eat meat out of the store, but we country people. We country. <laughs> I'm from Ocala, so we we hunt deer, rabbit, okay, squirrel. I know y'all don't eat that. Um, and possum, possum, yeah. They in your possum garbage meat. up here, but all of those things and goat. goat oh yeah. Meat. Now, yeah. my mom, um, I had a friend of mine that uh, did deer hunting, and so we had That's a plethora. Of, oh my gosh, I had deer burgers, deer steak, deer. And see, I know how to cook the deer and clean the wow. deer and get the gaminess out of the deer. Deer is, is better. It's the lean meat. It's better than hamburger. It's better than Ooh, meat. Wow. It is okay. so, oh, it's okay. delicious deer. Venison is the meat of choice, okay? Um, lamb is good, but it's so oily and greasy. Okay. Uh, goat is good, too. Okay. Uh, and also, I, uh, I, my mom, like. Do you um, stay away from cow, cows? My mother does not eat a cow. <laughs> Um, the occasion I might allow her to have farm range, free range cow, but honestly, because I have people who are hunting, my freezer is full of deer in Florida. Wow. Right now they're calling me now. So you got a freezer full of uh, <laughs> food you need to, cause see, I take my venison and I soak it and I clean oh, wow. it and I do all those things I need to do. I'm mean, taking to the butcher to grind up some for, uh, uh, hamburgers. They still have butchers? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we still yeah. have them. We don't really use, use them, them. Um, but we still have them. So I'm very particular about what she gets because I, I know what still lies in the fatty tissues of her body, uh, especially when they had her in the facility. They were giving her the basic of a harem type of drug. Ooh. And this is going to continue to deplete her brain, deplete her heart, and Kill her, kill her, basically. Yeah. They're euthanizing people in there because they don't believe in a cure. So they just keep them drugged up because they're out of their minds. So they try to keep them drugged right. up. How um, were you able to convince your dad to allow you to take her off the medication? And then, um, <laughs> can we talk about that here? Well, let me tell you, you know, um, people are very receptive when they see something so traumatic. When my mm -hmm. mother passed out in front of my brother and my dad at the hospital, wow. and they did not try to resuscitate her. All they did is ask my parents, did they have a DNR? You know, and then nobody said, my brother actually had to call the paramedics because they were ready for her to pass away and die. Uh -huh. These facilities are not about saving lives. They're only trying to, um, like they do pets, try to put you to sleep in the most humanistic way they can. They're not about quality of life in these places. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, especially wow. when you've been diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's, which the world tells me there's no cure, they're all they're going to do is anesthetize you, to, so that you don't know what you're doing and you, you, you can't, you're catatonic. My mom was sitting in the chair catatonic all day, just sitting there, sitting there, didn't move, didn't talk, didn't anything. Um, so how was I able to get her off those drugs? Well, first of all, um, the heroin that she took, we could not take her out of the facility. When I came to Florida, I took my mom out. Mm -hmm. We never took her back in the state. I took her out at seven o'clock in the morning. I took her back at 10 o'clock at night. So she's been very limited. Uh-huh. And they would give her the medication because they had to because they had to wean her off of it or she would have suffered withdrawals. Gotcha. Because it was like a heroin type of drug. Right. Um, and by the way, I can't tell you the name of the drug today, but I'm going to tell, tell, tell it to you the next time. The very drug they would give her my mom is known to cause people with Alzheimer's dementia uh, death, paralysis and death. But they don't feel like that's bad if you're gonna have paralysis and death anyway. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. it's just a quicker way of getting you there. But you're, again, they're euthanizing you yeah. on your way out because you feel like you're not gonna have a quality of life, so why should you live? Gotcha. So mm -hmm. um, uh, we took her off, the, we had to wean her off of that. The other drugs, this is what I told my father. My mother is 86 years old. Mm -hmm. She has a pacemaker, okay? Mm -hmm. My mother has lived a quality life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If she's going to leave this world, it won't be off of synthetic drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because those drugs were destroying her kidney. My mother's kidney had gone down to 20%, was failing. 
She's about to be on dialysis. dialysis. My mother's kid is now uh, 80% and functioning very well. Ooh. My mother's <clears throat> heart, her blood pressure, there's nothing wrong with it. My mom died, died, died when you, all of our, when you go and have your tests run. Her died, diagnosis? Her diagnosis <clears throat> and prognosis are all above great. There's nothing wrong. She, and I took off everyone, blood pressure pills, I took off she's not taking enough. Not anything. The only thing she's taking is her, the food that she eats. And that's it. That's it. She's not taking anything because, again, wow. any drug that you take is going to have an effect on your body. Your body is not able to disseminate those drugs out of your body completely. So they're large in your kidneys. They're large in your lungs. They're large in your pancreas. They're large in the, your lungs. They're large inside your body. And they stay in your fatty tissue. And as your blood pumps it around, it's just like it pumps it around. And every now and then, it pulls up those dosages and it lands somewhere else in your body. And your body ends up having a failure because you cannot get rid of it. Wow. We remember God had a perfect system and it, it wasn't with drugs. Right. It's natural things that off the earth. So right. um, so once um, I stopped giving her those things and she went to the doctor, had a, a great report, the doctors assumed she was taking the medication. <laughs> and um, I didn't tell them until about six months later. She really had blood pressure? I said, yeah. I said, well, I guess she don't need to be on. I said, no, she doesn't. And I had already taken her off of it. Right. Um, but like I told my dad, it it would not it would not have been uh they was trying to do assisted suicide in the in, in the in the facility, facility yeah. so for me taking my mother off those drugs that's not assisted suicide I, I waited and I, I I weaned her off of those mm -hmm. drugs and that was it because I'm not gonna let that because her body organisms organs were were shutting Shut down. down that's what was killing my mom. Her heart was shutting down. Her kidneys were shutting down because of the drugs they were giving her. Again, I can show you pictures of my mom dancing. She laughing. She telling jokes. So, oh Lord, you know she, she's back to you. There was a time when my mom watched TV and she was like, Oh Lord, she thought it was real. Oh, she can enjoy oh. TV now. She says, Oh, look at him. That's a shame, <laughs> you know. So she's back to, oh, wow. um, you know, yes. The only thing we're waiting on her is to really start. She don't really want to read. She might read it to me. <laughs> Now, this is a lady who couldn't say anything. I'm going to show you some pictures next time and wow. give you some information and show you exactly how catatonic my mother was and how much she, uh, fun we enjoy, we enjoy my mother again. Yeah. You know, so um, there's a cure. <clears throat> you have to take the time to read and study. And the best part about reading and study is that most things now are already written out for you. Um, I'll go again and tell you about Joel Wallet, the 90 for Life. Yeah. I take that. My mother takes that. I take it every day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 90 nutrients because a lot of things that, uh, that you have wrong with you, you really don't have wrong with you until you start balancing out your nutrients and minerals that you need to have in your body. Mm -hmm. You might have high blood pressure. You start taking 90 for Life. Three months later, you don't have high yeah, blood pressure question. because your body and your electrolytes and everything are balanced. You might have migraines, but you take the 90 for life for 90 days, which is three months, you no longer have migraines. Right. You know, you might have all kinds of things that are going on with you only because you have a deficiency in calcium, one of the other areas that, uh, that your body needs to be balanced. Okay. And so once you balance out your body, then you can see whether or not you really have something. Or is it a result of something that's lacking in your body that should be balanced? Oh, okay, um, okay. But um, now, what about money wise? Um, if a person mm -hmm. doesn't have a lot of money, are they able to? Uh, what would you recommend for the person who may not have a lot of funds? The person <clears throat> that doesn't have a lot of funds will still go out and buy pizza, <laughs> we'll yeah. still get a soda. Mm -hmm. will still get things that they know are unhealthy for mm -hmm. you. So this is what I say for people that don't have a lot of money. Lemons still grow on trees. Mm -hmm. You know, you can still make a nice, and you can still, you can buy from a dollar store a big box of tea leaves still. Mm -hmm. Limited. Yep. You know, get, you know, and then make you some tea. The difference is you're going to use stevia or you're going to use yeah. honey and you just get used to using those things. Right. There's nothing wrong. Don't buy orange juice at the store. Ever. That was the other thing. Don't juice. Ever, orange juice is the worst. Oh, it is the worst. Oh, thing. No kind. No, no kind of orange juice. I don't care if they say less calcium <laughs> or whatever, whatever. And they're lifting weights. Orange juice. And you can look this up online. Do not drink orange What's juice. What's wrong with orange juice? Well, what they put into uh, orange juice, and you got to remember, the antibiotics is still in the orange juice. Mm -hmm. And you also have where they put the calcium and different things in it. The orange juice have to be preserved. Now, if you've ever made fresh orange juice, you know it separates. Mm -hmm. and, 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 yeah. and then within two, 48 hours, mm -hmm. if you leave it out, it's not going to be too good. It's going to yeah. turn 20. You might yeah. have some wine or <laughs> something else. It's turning right. to wine. That's why. The natural process that God has for food to break down, even when they were um, getting manna, he said, don't get any. It's still overnight. Yep. Because if it stays overnight, it was molded the next day. There's a lifetime to everything that is alive and living. 
Mm -hmm. There's a lifetime, but it's not a lifetime to anything that you buy at the store. It's going to stay in your refrigerator for weeks on end. And they got an expiration date because they want you to throw it away by then. <laughs> so only because it's not bad because they put enough stuff in it to preserve it, but simply before you can go right to the store and buy some more. Uh -huh. But my point is anything that's living has a lifespan that is very short. Mm -hmm. you, have, you buy fruit. You can't hardly eat it all in your house before it spoils. Yep. And you can used to can smell it. Like when you have fresh oranges or lemons, you can actually smell it, but the uh, fruit in the stores, you can't, you can't smell it. Because it has been um, they have g geneticized it down to where it looks like fruit, but it really it isn't. isn't. But you get more out of what you plant if you do that to it. So genetically, it's enhanced. So genetically enhanced tomato or genetically enhanced orange is really not an orange. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it looks like an orange. Right. But no. Um, so right. that is why. But you can now go out and pick some oranges. Right. And take it in your, you go in your kitchen. And right. Juice it and right. juice it again, time right. But for me, when I go and get these things, I buy them in bulk. Mm -hmm. I may spend two or three hours in my kitchen, but when I finish, my orange juice is all made for the week, <laughs> my vegetables okay. are all cut up for the week. I do everything for the week. So when I want to cook, I just open right. up my Tupperware, throw this in there, throw that in there, throw that. Mushrooms are something else that you always should have in your diet. Mushrooms, why mushrooms. are mushrooms important? Mushrooms is a natural, um, uh, uh, it's a, it's an, um. Uh, it's um, antibiotic. Okay. But it not only is an antibiotic, mushroom have a, as a natural, um, what's the word? It's not an allergy, but it's, oh. it's, it's like an allergy. It has a fungi. Oh, okay. It's a natural, healthy fungi that helps to keep your colon clean, your body clean, your pores clean. It is just a natural fungi that is natural for us to keep you from having um yeast infections uh -huh. and all those things like that it's natural so it's a natural fungi that is very healthy for you mom uh, all of the um mushrooms that you can buy the, you know the asians do it all the time they don't have they don't seem to have a problem <laughs> but they 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 have mushrooms the little white they have mushrooms yeah, there's yeah, so many yeah. different types of mushrooms yeah. i even i didn't know about until after i started with my mom because i use some of those and i stir fry them mm -hmm. um with a little bit of powder butter and she loves it over rice Brown rice, that yeah. is so delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. But um and onions so much you can do with food um that's delicious that we don't think about because we're so used to grabbing a burger with some cheese and some right. fries and, 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 and dying on the inside. But yes, um naturally uh fungi is really good for the system. Very good. As a matter of fact, in the biblical part about when the first rain you get the first um um, mushroom to come up, mm -hmm. um, not the ones that land out there, but, <laughs> but the potatoes things. Um, and this all, I have some biblical scriptures. Last thing I want to say to you, Excellent. we can pull up some scriptures. Well, I just want to talk about how God Himself made it important to talk about food when He had the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Now that's 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 deep, and how He talks about it's important of what you eat and how you eat it and how you prepare it. Mm -hmm. God did that. So if God made food important enough to know what he put into the vessels that he created to keep them healthy, then we should know that food is important right. and it's not to be put on a pedestal like a God and it's supposed right. to be used for what? Mm -hmm. The preserving of our bodies, right. minds, and soul to do right. the work of the ministry right. for the temple that God gave us. Right. That is what it's for. When we start using food as a God and, and making it the end all be all, it's right. good to enjoy your food, but it shouldn't be the point where we're paying three, three hundred and five hundred dollars a plate of food. Mm -hmm. There's no food worth that. Is that a sin? To, to, would you I wouldn't, you know, we, we'll quickly call things a sin. What's a sin is not to have knowledge and the intellect to know that that's stupid. <laughs> you know, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, stupidity in itself, when you have the right, when God says, take my yoke upon you, learn of me. Knowledge is learning. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to have that, you know, and want to be in the upper echelon and you want to say you ate a $300 meal, <laughs> come to my house. <laughs> I will feed you, yeah. you know, <laughs> but I'm just saying it's about right. the prestige um, and uh, the uh, it's the prestige and the uh, it's all about image yeah. when you buy these foods, Ooh. because when you're talking about a 300, I went to Cordon Bleu in New York. Mm. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I went there because I was on a set with Nicole Kidman. Okay. Um, and she was making the movie with the little boy, and I was an assistant. And they took us out, out, uh -huh. and we had this little plate of food, and um, it was four hundred and five hundred dollars for this plate. And matter of fact, people, let me tell you, they put like three things on your plate. Let me cover the whole plate, <laughs> you know. But three hundred. Yeah, but but then that's supposed to be posh. <laughs> You're not supposed to really eat to get full. <laughs> You're supposed to just eat to taste, <laughs> I guess. Um, and I, I thought to myself sitting there watching them pull out, you know, pay for all this food. That was, well, excuse me, <laughs> oxymoron. Pay for the food, not uh -huh. all the food. I was thinking to myself, how foolish. 
Our food is wow. people are starving everywhere, and we're sitting here eating something that's not worth anything, right? Close to five hundred dollars a plate. But because we had the atmosphere and the ambiance and the low lighting <laughs> and the grapes coming from the ceiling and stuff, you know, um, we paid that kind of money. But we are in a world now where it is about uh, keeping up with the Kardashians. It's all about image. It's all about look. We don't care about what people feel and what they think and how they're doing. We say hello, but we really don't say hello. Yeah. Before they can say they're doing fine, we're gone. We're gone. Yeah. You know, we never want to, hello, hello. If they say hello back, they stop and shot us. <laughs> if you say, right. how you doing? They say, oh, I'm doing fine. How are you? You gone. <laughs> Yeah. You're happy with that. Oh, girl, I didn't hear you say that. Yeah. Because you're not really trying to have a conversation. conversation. We've true. stopped trying to meet with people. And this is why the Bible says somebody asked you for a coat. Give them the whole, your whole mm -hmm. coat. If you ask for one a mile, walk two miles. Right. He's saying have communication. Right. Get to know the people you're walking with. Get to know right. the people who are in need. You know, you just don't hand it. Make sure you understand that it's not about the physical things as much as the spiritual thing. And that time that you spend with a person is more important than what you give them. Yeah. Look, you know, the, uh, Avatar movie says, I see you. That's a deep thing. I see you. It means you exist, you're here, and you're important. And I see you. Right. Take the time to slow down and say, I see you. And more importantly, see what's happening in your family's life, your children's life. Look at them because they're giving you examples. Are they exhibiting something that may be going on in their lives that needs to be attended to, especially with the eating? ADHD, all of these type of things yeah, my are, that's all, new. Yep. are all because yep. of the food choices that we that. eat and yep. what they're putting into the food. Yep. We have to take back our families. We have to take back our children yep. because they're the ones who are going to have to make the difference in tomorrow's tomorrow's yeah. future and if they don't have the brain to do it they can't do it and if you're sickly you can't do it you yeah. cannot fulfill the call of destiny on your life right if your body's ill because the first thing you want to do is say i'm so tired i'm yeah. so sick, sick. I can't. You know, and everybody's saying the same thing yeah. you gotta be sick and tired of being sick and yeah. tired and then you'll change your life yeah Gosh. So what what do you uh, recommend for skin? Like if people have like dark circles under their eyes or they have a lot of um, lesions on their face or like um, patches, dark patches. Again, what is that? again, <clears throat> you see a lot of overweight people have a black darkness in here. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, again, yep. that goes again with the 90 for life, not having the proper balance of nutrients in your body. Your body, exip, your body will give you an example of what's wrong with it. When you have rings around your neck, dark yep. side, it's saying either you're anemic, either you're, you're missing some type of nutrient that your body is trying to let you know. See, your body mm -hmm. is an outward show of what's going on the inside. inside. Come on now. So yep. when your body's showing you that your eyes, you're tired. When your body's trying to leave, you're tired. You're missing something that you need to add to your diet to help your body to do what it's trying to do, which is protect you. Yeah. And so that's what I go again. Again, one thing I would tell you when I say 90 for life, I say 90 for life because it's for your life. Mm -hmm. Those 90 nutrients and minerals that you need to be in your body every day will let you know what really is wrong with you because there's a lack of nutrients that you're not eating. Now, the 90 for life, um, uh, it costs about $42, $50. Um, we found it for cheaper. Mm -hmm. In a container, take two scoops. It's a scoop based off of your um, body weight. One scoop oh. per uh, 100 pounds. Right. For you, you don't need but a <laughs> scoop and a half. Somebody else, three, <laughs> you need three scoops. But you take this for 90 days, three months. And that's all nutrients. Now, all and nutrients. I, oh, well, wow. well, I say for life. I take mine for life. I've, I've been on it for life because people right. say, oh, you look good. You look, you look yeah, so young. You're you looking at your skin and I'm like, Girl, yeah. because I, t but if I showed you some pictures before I started making sure those minerals, minerals and new nutrients are in my diet every day, I didn't look that, you know, my skin was getting poor. No, of course, because I didn't have the iron, copper, zinc, magnesium, selenium. I didn't have those, those minerals and vitamins in my body in the abundance that they should have been there. And I couldn't get them out of the food because the foods don't have them. So I had to get this Dr. Joel Wallet program, 90 for Life, and I started taking that. And that's what my mother's on too. She every day she takes her 90 for life and she takes her, her shapes. Yeah. But the 90 for life is I had to basically make sure she had that in her body before I could start healing her brain. Uh -huh. Because I had to bring her up to the nutrients and minerals that she had to have in her body on a balanced note for before I could get change. So you started cleaning her out first. Clean her out. And at the same time I was cleaning her out, I gave it a 90 for life because right. I had to replenish whatever yeah. was because I'm not a doctor. I you can take a blood test and they'll tell you what you're liking. But me, most doctors won't do it because you have to ask them for it. Mm. They're not looking for only but the simple things they're looking for. They go with the pharmaceutical companies that they can give you the medicine for. Right. High blood pressure. There are only certain things they're gonna give you plenty of drugs for. Right. Next thing for your stomach. <laughs> all, the, all these things that really is saying your stomach is not acting right because your stomach doesn't have the stuff that it needs, the minerals and nutrients to break down the barium in your stomach to break the food down. So now you got indigestion. Again, it all has to do with 
bring your body up to the balance that God intended to be with the minerals and nutrients that you need. You've got to have those 90 minerals and nutrients in your life, period. Then you can address what issues you have, if you have some, after you get the 90 for life, after you take three months of it. Right. Okay. For your skin also, there are so many natural products out there. Black people have been do, using it for years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, an exfoliant for your skin is simply salt. Right. Scrub your face with salt, right? You know, and then rinse it off. You know what I mean? Eggs. Mm -hmm. That's a peel right there. Put your eggs on your face. Mm -hmm. Once again, right. an egg, and right. it peels your skin. You know, I mean, it's a nice little mask for your skin. Right. You know, right. then you put honey mask on. Yeah, there are so my... many great natural Blue skin things. Care. Exactly. <laughs> your product. Yeah. Are Those you are... FDA certified organic. Okay. It's in nature. Yep. When you go against nature, you go against life. Yeah. Nature has it already in there. Why? Because God created. And right. what did He say when He finished? It's good. Yeah, it is good. It is wow. good. Gosh. So, okay, so why aren't we doing it? <laughs> so what are you, so do you think it's ignorance or people just don't want to do it? No, we're so lazy. lazy. Just lazy. We're lazy. We live in a world where we're superficial. We'll go get our hair done, our nails oh, yeah, done, no, that's and, we'll, and, and, and our gut, but we can't go to the bathroom. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and and, and it, takes, it takes knowledge to want to change. But we're so superficial that people only look on the outside, and that's what they're giving you uh, praise for. So you stay with the superficial. And then you wonder why you can't stay in a relationship, why you break up, because superficial gets old quick. <laughs> and then you want to have a deeper conversation, and nobody has yeah, that so for you because you, that's not what you were looking for. Right. And that's not what he was looking for. Y'all both were looking for superficial. <laughs> right. And now you want to get deeper, and you don't even understand each other, right. nor do you want to. Right. Or you say, I didn't know you were like that. Of course you did. <laughs> because you were looking on the outside and not looking at the, what, 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 what really makes up a person, yeah. which is on the inside. Um, listen, let me tell you. We have gotten to a... Uh, both people working in the family. Yep. Yeah. Because we want to keep up with the Joneses. Yep. That's it. And no mom is at home and um and, and our dad at home. Because now let's get biblically straight now. People want to talk about women being home, but if you look back in biblical time, the men were home. The women were out there with sheep and stuff. <laughs> Why? Because if somebody came to break uh, break in a tent or break in a house, the mm -hmm. men had to be there to, okay. to protect it. So we have all these roles changing and fussing about who's supposed to be what. But that's why God says, let a man examine himself. You're not supposed to be looking at somebody's house, household trying to figure out what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. This is not a group mentality <laughs> on raising your family. It's what that family decides was best for them, and that's what they do. But, but keep in mind that we are so um, projected on the outside of other people that we don't look at ourselves. Yep. You know, it's again, scripture. We want to talk about the speck that's in somebody's so eye. We got to plank it on. And one of the things I've learned um, through this experience with my mother, myself, even when I, mean, I had got diagnosed with something that I'm cured from, mm -hmm. you know, but I always say it would show its head every now and then because, you know, we're cured from a, a common cold, but every now and then you feel like you're catching one again. Right. And you take some vitamin C or whatever and it, it goes, goes away. away. So that's the way I feel about any disease that mm -hmm. comes. You have, a, you have a propensity in your body to say a favorable condition where cancer could come or mm -hmm. lupus could come or mm -hmm. this could come. So when you see those things, and I always say, thank you for giving me that name so now I can call that demon by its name and tell it to go away. You know <laughs> uh -huh. what I'm saying? But I can call it by its name, but at the same token, I have my nutrients in my body. So when you want to flare up, I said, oh, no, I have authority over that. You go ahead yeah. and go about your business. <laughs> and it goes away because I don't doubt that because I'm doing yeah. what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. We don't want to take that type of responsibility. And we're so eager to trust other people than we are to trust ourselves. We have yeah. more people following. You used to wonder why people could follow Jim Jones yes. and all of these other people. Yes. Because people want to follow because they don't want to lead. Mm. They do not want to take responsibility for what comes out of their mouth and for their own lives. They want somebody to tell me how to do it. They don't want to be shown how to do it. And that's the problem with all our teenagers and even adults today. They just want, just tell me how to do it. He said, no, yeah. take the time to show you. you. No, just tell me. I ain't got that kind of time. And then the next thing you know, they're calling it, tell me how you do it again. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's the same thing with people who are studying the word. They want you to pray for them. Oh, just pray for them. They come back to you the same day the with the same up. problem. Yeah. Pray for me, pray for me. You know, come yeah. back to the same. And you get sick of them. Yeah. Excuse me, you say, yeah. you know, you know <laughs> then you want to run the other way because yeah. you know they come up with the same problem. <laughs> right. Well, they have the same authority and they have the same power. Right. They have the same thing, but they don't have the knowledge because they don't want to study. The Bible says study to show yourself approved. approved. Right. Not for me to study so you can come run over to me. <laughs> 
for me to show you. You know, it's all right to pray with somebody that touch and agree. Right. But you got to have knowledge too. How can two walk together yeah, unless they, they don't want to they agree? Yeah. They don't want to accord. But we can't come with somebody not, oh, I'm on one accord with the word, but you don't have no chords in you because you didn't read nothing. Okay. <laughs> and, and that's, again, a yeah. lazy spirit. And God talks about that spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, he talks about a lazy man and yep, this. Yep, he talks yep. about it. Proverbs talks yeah, about it a lot too. Yep. So the problem is we have given ourselves over to a lazy nation. Now listen, part of that is in the culture. Mm -hmm. Again, we have computers. computers. We yep. don't go to the library. library. We don't study. Yep. We don't research. Yep. We ask the computer to do, do it. it. We, we, you know, we don't even read because you can buy stuff now. Books, they'll read. They'll read. They, they read to you. They'll read audio to you. Books. And you. And audio books are good, but you can't remember. You don't comprehend if you don't read. Right. So you remember less if you listen. Yep. But if you read, you comprehend. Mm -hmm. It's again why God says, it's okay to have those Bibles that talk to you mm -hmm. and all that. But you know what? Pick up the book and read it and highlight it. <laughs> then right. you're going to retain it more mm -hmm. because you can go back to that page. You may not even remember what book is in, but you know it's back here somewhere with that page. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You can't do that on an a, 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 a e-book or whatever. Right, right. You know, it just disappears as soon as you turn it off. Right. But a Bible is there. This is why God talks about images. Mm -hmm. The Bible is also an image. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's an image that is alive. You living see, Bible, the it's, living it's, word, and that word. image itself. When even when people didn't read their Bibles, they used to sit on the table. Say, yep, so they're from the living room. Look how powerful that image was. People <laughs> be quiet when you walk by. They had it in the they had yeah. in the courtroom. Yeah. They put the courtroom Bible right. there, and it moves. <laughs> it, it, it had power. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So even though we have it on our, our, our laptops, our yeah. iPhones, you really need to have a Bible yeah. to open and turn the That's pages right. because it gives you the the, the senses. Mm -hmm. And we learn through our senses to feel, touch, smell, right. see. These are the things we learn through. Mm -hmm. And when you're only using one sentence, sense, sense or two sentences to look, you're not touching, you're not feeling it. Right. And therefore, you don't get the fullness thereof mm -hmm. that God talks about. And so you miss out on vital nutrients that your brain needs when you're reading and you can't remember. Again, the Holy Spirit's job is to bring things back to your remembrance. It can't remember <laughs> what you put in you. What you don't, you don't put, put in. in you know what I'm saying? And when it's so quick just to read it, and, and, and that's just like going on a test. You know, I used to I used to uh, study for a test that I knew that I'm not going to use it again. <laughs> Memorize it in a song. Mm -hmm. Take the test. If the teacher would ask me the next day, I'd get an A. <laughs> well, I was like, well, well, what song, what part of the song that was in? You know what I'm saying? I, because I wasn't remembering it. I was just... It was a short-term memory right. only for specifically taking that test. Mm -hmm. What well, life is not like that. Right. The word of God is not like that because it's not a short life. Right. So you can't have a short-term memory because you're going to have to pull up what you learn because it grows. It's uh, like building blocks. Mm -hmm. And if you can't block it up and build it up, you don't have anything but a foundation. And you stay on a foundation, you'll never have a house. All you have wow. is a foundation. And you never build. Right. You see what I'm saying? And everything that comes in your life is going to tear you down. As long as you're saved, it won't tear the foundation. Yeah. But it's going to tear you down. Yeah. But once you get saved, you got to learn to build on that foundation. Right. Because then you want room. So you can come. So somebody say, come and go with me into my house. Yeah. You can't go into the house if you didn't build it. <laughs> and the right. house is talking about the places that I've etched out in this world that I've experienced in the house and I can compartmentalize and talk to you about something I experienced and how I overcame it. Mm -hmm. And I experienced it, but you can't overcome it without a foundation and reading and studying the word each yeah. day. You yeah. have to do that. And then people say, well, I don't have time. You do have time. Yeah. We do have time. Everybody has the same 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. but it's what you have to prioritize. Yep. I set my clock to go off in the morning and I'll turn on my um, uh, uh, quail flow at five yeah. and I'll read that right there. And then if I go to exercise, before I get out of the car, I give myself 30 minutes to read. Okay. And I stay with, and I, and yeah, that's my so morning. Right. That's my morning to get myself going because I know that even if I don't, and I don't, don't be religious now. If you miss a day, don't <laughs> yeah. kill yourself. Right. But make it important enough that at least three days out of the week you wake up and say, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read it. Like I was looking at Galatians uh, 5 and 22. Oh, and I yeah. knew, yeah. And I knew that I needed the fruits of the, the spirit. spirit. Of you the know spirit. what I'm saying? And I had to remember, I said, I'm going to remember that today. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to remember that today because I'm always talking about the fruit of the spirit, mm -hmm. but I don't tell them about where to go get it. Okay, now I'll tell you. <laughs> five and twenty-two. You know what I'm saying? Right. But all that is because I focus in my mind that this is what I want to talk about because the only way that you know you really are in the kingdom working and having the Holy Spirit work that out because that's the job of the Holy Spirit to yeah. work out the fruits of the spirit. Right. 
You see, but you don't know that if you're not studying it. <laughs> right. And then some people say, well, what are the fruits of the spirit? Well, you know you probably ain't <laughs> have them because you don't <laughs> even know what they, they are. are. That's what I'm saying. Because you have to recognize them to, to know what should be coming out of you. Long suffering, peace, peace. kindness. Yep. You know, because I have to think about the fruit of the spirit when I'm driving. Yeah. I just know. And, and every day I mess up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I say, well, you know, Lord, you know, no sin is worse than any other. Thank you for, for you know, it's already forgiven. <laughs> thank but, you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. But the, again, it's just a lazy spirit. And understand this. The strong man, he says that the, 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 Satan goes to and fro seeking whom he can destroy. The whom is that some people he can and some people he can't. How can he devour them? He can devour them because they have lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Why do people not eat right? Lack of knowledge. Why do people uh, have anything going on like a knowledge? Right. And why do they have like a knowledge? They don't want to spend the time it takes to do what they need to do, to be who they need to be, to become what they want to, to have. Yeah. And so therefore, they're tossed to and fro by every wind in doctrine because they're not on the true path of learning for themselves. This right. is why it's not a group effort. It's a study to show that self approval. Right, right. It's a personal relationship. And when you get that, the same way you felt when you fell in love with that guy, mm -hmm. you want to talk on the phone mm -hmm. all night and <laughs> hang out with him. You want to know everything about him. Mm -hmm. That's that love relationship with Christ. And when you have that, where you eat, the way you talk, what you value is yourself. Yeah. And so that's what we're losing in this world. Yeah. Self value. It's superficial value, not self value. When you really start to value yourself, you say, well, I'm not going to eat that today. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna have yeah. that. I'm more better. You, you'll do better because you love yourself. Right. And once you clear that out your body, like we went on the fast, and you start taking it back in, you, you feel how headache you get. Or, you know, say, well, I might eat it, but every night you won't. You won't just flood your body with it mm -hmm. because you felt so much better. Mm -hmm. You know, and being and feeling better is is half the battle. Yeah. Yeah. Getting up in the morning, and not being still tired. <laughs> that's that's it. Because anytime I take sugar, I'm tired the next day. I know when I've overdone the sugar. Sugar. Okay. Yeah, the next morning I get up and like I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Guys, this hour has gone by so quick. Uh, oh my God, we have to bring her back. Uh, we, will you promise to come back? I promise to okay. come back. And when I come back, I'm going to give you some specific recipes. One thing I want you to change, yeah. and I'm going to give you some specific recipes that you can throw together, like quickly, because that's one of the things they want to tell you. I was like, how to quickly prepare this? <laughs> so I'm going to show you some quickly prepared dishes that you can have that you can keep and take to work the next day, a little Tupperware, and you can enjoy life. And that's it. One day at a time. That's it. Okay. Any scriptures you want to show, share with us before we close out? Well, yeah. I would tell you this. Mm -hmm. Go on your uh, Google, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you ask Siri, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, biblical scriptures concerning food, and read over them. Okay. And then you'll find out why certain things are good and why certain things are not. Now, keep in mind, we are in new time, and they say hooved animals like pig, you know, mm -hmm. that's what they eat. Well, they're supposed to be, you know, killing all the bacteria now because they don't have a blood circulatory system, and mm -hmm. that's why God didn't want them to eat it, because the stuff settled in the meat. But now, they're supposed to be sterilizing it. But I, my point is, understand what was important then, because what was important then, even though we are up under the new covenant, it's still important to know why God wanted it to be important, right, so that you right. understand and have a discerning spirit of how much you want to put into your diet even now. Right. You know, put less yeah. of what's not good that he thought was not good, God thought was not good in your diet. Now, you don't want to overburden your body right. with, with those type of things. So I've been enjoying myself. I enjoyed having you here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to give you guys two scriptures and then I'm going to upload this into the group once we finish here. Okay. Genesis 9 3 Every living creature will be food for you. Yeah. As I gave the green plants, I have given you everything. And three, for, uh, Genesis 1 29 God said I have given you every plant with seeds on the face of the earth and every tree that has fruit with seeds this will be your food and there's a ton others that um that's on this list so I'll upload it for you guys remember finally Big Bear June 13th through the 16th we're going to be in Big Bear for um the breakthrough yes. our women's retreat so guys we are um the spaces are filling up we have I think eight more slots so definitely email me text me or whatever you um feel like you may need so I can give you all the information for the trip um, again Joanne Minister Joanne um, West Sims they won't call her by all of her names uh, will be here for the next eight weeks teaching from the book from shame to beauty it will oh, transform yes. and change your life mm -hmm. she's gonna give some exercises some homework guys you got to be here I'm telling you the book is amazing yes. she uploaded it in the group so definitely if you get a chance get it um, you can go on eBay and get it for dirt cheap, or you can just follow along. We'll upload some um, things in the group so you can print out at home. So that's for the next eight weeks. And so, guys, I'm so excited. That's so why I said take control of your life by taking control yes. of what you eat, yes. and you'll feel much better for it. Yes.